we're going to prepare the whole X axis, the whole X assembly, to later incorporate it into the jelly box. We're going to start with the mechanical part. The acrylic pieces, the bearings, the motor, the X carriage, the smooth rods, and the linear belt. And then we're going to move on to the electronics. First, we're going to attach four linear bearings with big six inch zip ties onto the X assembly. You're going to need the X assembly front acrylic piece, the X assembly back acrylic piece, four linear bearings, <laughs> and a bunch of six inch zip ties. A good precaution is to clean up your acrylic pieces with some cloth, because once you conjoin them, you will never clean the space in between. <laughs> on the front piece, there's a bird on the lower left corner. And on the back piece, there's a branch on the lower left corner. To properly align the pieces, you just make sure to put the bird on the branch. Like so. The bearings go on the bottom, in the back side. The most efficient thing is to first thread in all the zip ties. <laughs> Make sure that the head of the zip tie is on the back part. That's the part with the actual slot for the bearing. <laughs> there. Now I can put on all the bearings. Make sure they fit into the slots nicely and secure them with the zip ties. <laughs> Now I'm going to use my vice grip to tighten the zip ties. If there is one place on the whole jelly box that you take special care to make the zip ties as tight as you can, it's these four bearings. It actually makes a difference. <laughs> To get it as tight as you can, make sure that the head of the zip tie stays on the bearing itself. And remember to always tighten in sort of opposite direction than the zip tie wants to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> when it's all nice and tight, I can clip the zip ties with my snips. Next, we have to attach the X motor to the X assembly. You're going to need the X assembly, X motor, four M3 by 16 bolts, and four serrated washers. As always, put all the washers on all the bolts. And when you expect the X assembly, you'll see there's a part which says X motor adjoins right here to this side. It's right above the bird. So do that. Adjoin the X motor right there to that side with the X motor connector facing upwards. And secure it in place with the four M3 by 16 bolts. The next step is to attach the X idler to the X assembly. Later, we're going to wrap the X belt around the pulley and around the idler. You're going to need M3 by 25 bolt, two identical halves of the X idler bearings, one hex spacer. There are two hex spacers. Take the shorter one. That's four millimeter hex spacer. Two regular M3 washers and one M3 nylon lock nut. First we're going to put the bearings onto the bolt and secure them in place with the spacer. <laughs> Tighten the spacer well the idler should not be moving around at all. The bearings will make sure that it can rotate. We have a special slot for the spacer on the AMI 3D wrench because it is slightly smaller than a regular M3 nut. Then we're going to put the idler onto the X assembly. The idler itself will be right against the pulley. That would be the back side of the X assembly. Don't forget, like I just did, to put one M3 washer on either side of the acrylic to distribute the pressure. Next step is to attach the X carriage with the smooth rods onto the X assembly. You're going to need the X assembly, X carriage, two smooth rods, and a bunch of big six inch zip ties. Thread the smooth rods through the X assembly and do it carefully. If you go at the wrong angle with too much force, it's possible that you knock out some of the bearings, some of the balls from the inside, and you don't want to do that. Look at the X carriage. On the front side, it has these two 
angled wings. On the back side, it's completely flat. Make sure that the back side is on the back side of the X assembly as well. Now insert the smooth rods into their slots, making sure they fit in nicely. And secure them with zip ties. The head of the zip tie will be on the smooth rods. As a final step, tighten all the zip ties with your vice grip. And when all said and done, clip the zip ties with your snips. The next step is to thread the X belt through the X assembly. The belt transfers the rotational motion of the motor into the linear motion along the X axis. You will need the X assembly, the X belt. There are two belts in your kit. One of them is marked X, X longer one, and one of them is marked Y and a bunch of small 4-inch zip ties. Start by threading the X belt teeth up through the two quite big holes on the bottom of the X carriage and round the belt around the X pulley. Then you'll go back into the X carriage and make a little loop at the end. We're going to use one small 4-inch zip tie to press the teeth of the belt against each other, thus forming a secure loop. Next, we're going to round the belt around the X idler on the other side and do another loop on the other side of the X carriage. We're now going to tighten the belt before we secure it with zip ties. And this is the easiest procedure for that. Put in two small loops And now, while you pull, pull on the belt itself, you're going to tighten the loop. Once you have that in place, we're going to tighten the other one just to make sure that it stays in place. Note that on this side of the X carriage, the smooth side of the belt is pressed against the smooth side of the belt. That's why we have two zip ties there to make sure it stays in place and doesn't move. And finally, we'll put in our tensioning system. Mm -hmm. 
on the motor facing side of the excavage, there's two slots for two small four inch zip ties. By tightening the zip ties, we can tighten the X belt. For now, I'll just put them in place and we're gonna tighten the belt as we need when we have the printer finished.